Hey, it's Giguk, and you're watching Pixel Party Pals. Woo! <laughs> I got it right on my first take. <laughs> it is! <laughs> right! Hey guys, how are we doing? Back another video from Giguk. We've got it in a nutshell video. It's a seasonal thing. I love these so much. I have not been paying too much attention to this season, so this should be quite educational. Spring Anime 2024, in a nutshell. Let's see what we should be checking out. Spring has once again sprung on us and has given us one of the most hyped seasons of anime in a while. I mean, how could I not be excited in a season with more Konosuba, Slime, Mushoku Tensei, but look, I'm a reformed man now. <laughs> yeah, we don't do Isekai anymore. Maybe it doesn't all have to be about Isekai or degeneracy. Maybe it's time for some wholesomeness, and what could be more wholesome than a loving couple raising their cute little baby boy. Yeah, it's 2024 now, nothing wrong with some feel-good BL anime, and oh, they're talking about alphas and oh, omegas this and pheromones. The omega first. Oh, I think I've seen this somewhere before. <laughs> omega is the lowest ranking species in the Omegaverse Alphaverse universe. Omegas tend to have a strong, <laughs> sweet scent, heat, which are cycles of arousal when the body is ready for <laughs> mating. <laughs> Oh my sex god. With them. So wholesome, it's so nice. Wait a minute. <laughs> and comes inside them Alphas to cannot from resist pain. the smell of an omega in heat. Hmm. Why? You know what? Never thought I'd say this. JoJo fans seem pretty straight right now. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> バーテンダーをお任せしようと思います。早速それぞれに得意なカクテルを作ってもらう。It's for I need to watch this. I do. I do cuz I've started get back into making my cocktails at home. <laughs> I miss working at cocktail bars. Give me your vodka, tequila, okay? Let's yeah. go together. I got box one. <laughs> Rum. Ever clear. <laughs> Peach snaps, triple sec, just to make it right. Peach All water, right. triple sec, and there you have it, home, boy. I love that. That's so well done. Boy. Oh no, this is some old school shit. A remake of Bartender? Even when the first one aired eight... 18 years ago? 18. This already felt like a pretty underground anime back in the day, but this show was an absolute vibe. Even though I couldn't even drink in England when it was first aired. Even though I couldn't even legally drink in England when it was first airing. It's a radio, you muppets. On theme, if you're looking for a nightcap show, this is it. You have different characters at a bar going through their own daily troubles, and a bartender who can serve you the perfect drink in that exact moment based on his own deductive Mate. reasoning and observation skills. So basically, he's the Sherlock Holmes of getting wankered. Well, that's Love not it. the only thing getting a remake, because Spice and Wolf is back. Yes, THE Spice and Wolf. Now, this was a widely beloved show back in the day. And Which again, I never saw, but some of you commented uh, on the Mother's Basement video saying that, like, this is perfectly fine to open into. One of my personal favorites, but a reminder. When this show first came out, George W. Bush was still president of the United States. We are oh not God. talking to the same anime fans anymore, so let me explain this in a way that the current generation can understand. Mm. Okay, hold on a second. <clears throat> All right, fam, hear me out. <laughs> let me yap a bit about the hottest shit that just dropped since the Grimace Shake. Spice and Wolf. I ain't playing when I say the shit be goaded. No cap. So it's about our bro craft here. Absolute Riz Lord Look Maxer on his Sigma grind set trying to chase that paper as some traveling merchant type shit. He's a man about that bread. No wheat. One day, bro pulls up and finds Bay hiding in his ride. Bay be acting like she be made in Ohio before proclaiming that she is Holo, the wise wolf god. Top G of the land and certified level 10. Yeah. Bro thinks she be capping, to which Bay claps back with, now nah, I'd win. And shows off her limited edition Fortnite skin, persuading bro into letting her slide with him vibe check the show be about bro and base oh my god <laughs> bopping through different towns speaking Skibbity fluent Japanese bopping. to each other with the faint promise that one day he'll slide into her DMs. Okay. Not selling you yet? Alright, peep game and lock in. That. One word. Economics. Now that topic may sound like El Riz, but hold on, let it cook. By just yapping, bro is able to stack some mad paper by phantom taxing these NPCs with bro's thousand IQ levels and hustle nomics because he knows they're always better than Hakari. This sounds sus, but trust God. me, this yapping be teaching you more than you'd ever learn in Hustlers University. In conclusion, the show is 10 out of level 10 Gats, give it a high OW Riz with a grimace shake. Now if you think those two shows were a blast from the past, we're just getting started with some of the other sequels coming out. Yeah. Kyoto Animation is actually making a season 3. No, we've got some of the most beloved and highly. Yes. Oh, I'm really enjoying 
bloody um, that time's reincarnated as slime. That last episode though was there was so much talking, but you no, know, it's fine. Sometimes you need a bit of downtime. Anticipated fantasy anime coming back for another season. I'm letting Connor Super like build up so I can binge it. Slayer, Eurocamp is back, which means so is the economy of the Yamanashi Prefecture. Sports. My hero is in a seventh season now. Seventh. It hasn't started yet. It hasn't started yet. <laughs> we just got recaps. I was so pissed off when I watched the first episode and was like, why are we just recapping season one? Season. Mushoku Tensei is continuing with Rudy oh. realizing he's actually a fate fan by proving he is the bone of his sword. Black Butler? Yeah, he is. We're getting more <laughs> Black Butler? What is happening right now? Bartender, Spice and Wolf, Hibiki Euphonium, Black Butler? What am I, my college years again? Oh, wait, they're giving us oh, no. more no game, no life? Wait, no. This Please. is not more no game, no life. God's this game. has the games. Play. This has the color palette. But there's no uncomfortably incestuous relationship between the main duo. I guess that's something from 2014 that we're not going to see revive this season. <sighs> this, why did it even get a second season? Oh, what the fuck? Yeah. Okay, what do we have here? The launch of 7G? Well, oh. lads, better get those towers running before the Brits try to burn them down. Ha <laughs> ha. Towers. This one's a weird one, and I'm not quite sure how to describe it. 7G towers cause the fucking apocalypse. Everyone above a certain age gets transformed into talking animals for some reason. Weird. And a bunch of girls decide to travel through the wastelands of this ruined world, connecting through the last remnants of civilization. Oh my god, it's a strand type anime. At first, I thought this was going to be a girl's last tour kind of deal. Cute girls vibing in a post apocalyptic setting, but I don't know. Something about the vibe seems kind of off, and I'm half expecting some kind of dark twist to hit at any moment. Oh, put tie dye gig mark. Unnamed memory. Looks like we got some kind of deceptively old but still absolutely What's adorable this? witch being visited by an absolute giga chad of a prince, oh. hoping she can help him break a curse that causes anyone he marries to die. die yes, yeah. this is a man blessed with infinite riz but cursed with no bitches. The solution she infinite riz, no bitches. God damn. She comes up with marry a girl strong enough to withstand the curse. <laughs> Uh-oh. This man is one scene away from a ukulele apology video. This seems like it's going to be one of those dialogue-heavy shows that relies on witty banter and chemistry between the main duo and their developing romance. And hey, this is also endorsed by the ReZero creator himself, which could mean this can turn into something really good, or he just really, really likes witches. Speaking of cute romances, we have an absolutely adorable love story guaranteed to warm the heart about a socially awkward demon lord who has absolutely no interest in women falling in love at first sight with a cute, innocent elf girl. Aww. She's apprehensive about his intentions at first, but he's so socially inept that he can't properly express his feelings. But slowly, over time, they come to understand one another and really start to care about each other. Oh, Where's okay, the twist? That sounds pretty cute. Where's the twist? Yeah, you know, it's just a really wholesome romance about a slave and her owner. What? What? Oh, there it is. <laughs> What, what? The Fable. Okay, this is a title I've heard some great things about. A world-class assassin is forced to go into hiding and live a normal life and has to learn how to use his very particular set of skills to solve every wacky situation he's involved in without killing anyone. Just basically John Wick if it was a comedy set in the Yakuza universe. Okay. Everyone, and I mean everyone I've met who's read the manga only has amazing things to say about this. Which, of course, means this was cursed to have the dullest, blandest looking anime adaptation you could ask for. I'm just saying, it shows like this that give read the manga bros the fuel to wake up in the morning and continue to be an absolute menace to society. Oh wow, a show about women's bicycle racing. I wonder what this is going to be like. Damn, what an amazing show about women's bicycle racing. <laughs> I wonder what pressing topic anime will tackle next. Ah, woman basketball. <laughs> <laughs> okay, enough of this seasonal filler crap. Let's see some of the heavy the hitters. Bag. Kaiju number eight. The hottest new Shonen Jump adaptation that is looking like it's going to be the hot new talk of the town. Kaiju are once again Absolutely looking like it. they're bringing their A game. Production values look damn good. Somehow they've got Young Blood doing the opening and freaking yeah. Young Republic doing the ending. Konnichiwa, Japan. It looks like some high profile people have put a lot of chips into this production. So let's see what they've been cooking. You can milk anything with nipples. We've got a world getting invaded by kaijus, a special task force of super soldiers who hunt them down, an old man protagonist at the decrepit age of 32 who gets turned. 
I'm older. <laughs> turned into a mini kaiju and applies to join the very task force that's supposed to hunt him down. It's a shonen action show, you know how it goes down, but I'll say it's goddamn refreshing to see a hot shonen jump show that has a mature, older protagonist as opposed to the millionth teenage high schooler. Somehow this anime is premiering on Twitter, um, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> Every week, so I can't wait to see such riveting discourse about this show, such as this episode was mid and pussy in bio. Check out this show about a kaiju that beats up other kaijus. If you need a change of pace from ghoul that beats up other ghouls, titan that beats up, up other titans. titans, devil that beats up other devils, and of course, dipshit that beats up other dipshits. But if that's not enough, here's the oh, mate, this anime is so good. Go, go, lose rage is. Boss. Other action show to look out for. Sentai Daishikaku, or Go Go Loser Rangers, takes place in a world where the Monsters of the Week battles in the world of Super Sentai or Power Rangers have been transformed into a commercialized event where the Rangers, who are secretly arrogant assholes abusing their powers, fight scripted battles against powerless goons who are forced to enact humiliating defeat after defeat every single week it to a crowd so that good. is none the wiser. But one day, one of the goons has had enough. So what if he's just cannon fodder? So what if he's completely powerless against the might of the asshole rangers? He's gonna find a way to take down his oppressors and restore the balance of power. In short, this is the boys, but with power rangers. Morphin time! Triceratops! Saber 2 Tiger! Tyrannosaurus! So you're saying that's <laughs> a portal to another world? Yes. Think carefully about this. You'd be saying goodbye to your loved ones. Your just jump straight in. Just jump. Life. You're gonna leave behind everyone you know, everyone you've ever loved. Geronimo! <laughs> well, what better way to start the isekai train than the cute little Moe reverse bullshit. isekai comedy starring an older, mature detective becoming the unwilling partner to some cute little dipshit anime girl? This feels like the spiritual successor to Hinamatsuri with an extra dash of. <laughs> Cause nothing screams Hinamatsuri like cute girls doing homeless things, and nothing screams oh, yeah, yeah. like oh, yeah, yeah. Whoa. domestic terrorism. Hey, coming right after the start of my Manwa brain rot journey. Cause if you think that every isekai has slavery, get ready for Manwa showing that the entire population of Korea has experienced every case of bullying that has ever been documented in the history of mankind. Here's a guy starting a YouTube career by learning oh, how to throw yeah. hands against his bullies and uploading it. As a YouTuber, this is totally unrealistic. I mean, clearly this content would get instantly demonetized, age restricted, possibly community striked. There is no way anyone would be able to make a single cent off this, let alone an online career. How the hell am I supposed to take this serious okay actually now this is totally believable i wonder what the oh, actual yeah, kick bloody hell <laughs> recommended way to deal with bullies is how to deal with bullies if you're being bullied reach out to an adult that you know and trust there's a lot of ways to get that <laughs> tell an adult or if you feel safe to do so Tell the bully to stop. If everyone works together. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is so simple. <laughs> Windbreaker, another delinquent anime whose manga is apparently inspired by Tokyo Revengers. Which makes me feel kind of oh bad because this single fight scene is already leagues above anything the Tokyo Revengers anime has showcased in three seasons. I'm not normally too big on this genre, but if the production values continue like this, I might just have to stick it out. I think what I found most amusing about this isn't actually the fighting or violence. It's the idea of a street full of grown adults cheering their fucking hearts <laughs> no out way, in the sight of a bunch of kids beating the shit out of each other. <laughs> all in all, just another average day for Birmingham Revengers. <laughs> Oh dear. What's this? What's this one? Isekai? Isekai. So we got another guy in a fantasy world that's clearly been transported. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. He got transported from a fantasy world that had slavery in it to another fantasy world that doesn't have it? Wait. And he doesn't get overpowered at level one, but level two? Guys, I don't think the Isekai genre is ready for this much innovation. Hey, it's an anime about some cute girls who start some podcast or radio show. Now, this is my neck of the woods. I wonder what they're going to talk about. Oh, no. Well, this podcast is going nowhere. This one's pretty cute. <laughs> Actually, I'm already liking the chemistry between the main oh, two, yeah. and it's a pretty unique setting as well. So, you know what? I might just have to give this one a ch Wait a minute. Is this a... 
Are they trying to trick me into watching an idol anime? Yeah, seems <laughs> so. Nice try, but you're gonna have to do better than that. Girls Band Cry. All right, I know anime fans are as allergic to CG as I am allergic to pizza crust, but honestly, this one looks all right. Yeah, it's okay. It's not yeah, studio orange styles. level. Some things look a little rough around the edges, but we've come a long way from Berserk 2016, especially when it comes to these micro expressions and facial animations that give their characters so much more life. It looks like the See, the more I see clips of this, the more it like, kind of grows on me. The tree's finally learning how to work towards their strength. And you know, I'm a sucker for music anime, especially when it comes to rock music. So, you know what? Fuck you, CG haters. I'm gonna give this one a chance. This All right, yeah, this is kind of a buff, isn't it? This is another idol anime, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> huh, this one feels oddly reminiscent. Plain, average looking girl with little romantic interest gives an umbrella to this random person that turns out to be an Ikeman! Ikeman! And then the popular guy suddenly shows interest in her. I mean, it seems like shoujo romances are getting a resurgence recently. And this feels like it's a gender reverse of whatever this genre is. There's Usagi drop with go- <clears throat> There's Barakamon with golf. Ikeman! Ikeman! John, did you fucking nuts on the logo again? <laughs> There's another anime in the ever-growing Re series. Re, Re Monster. Monster. An isekai with no trucks, no death by overwork, just a good old-fashioned stabbing. Finally, the Brixton isekai experience has got some representation. Alright, so he's reincarnated as a goblin this time, but you know what? I've seen Goblin Slayer. I won't fall for your goblin propaganda. Wait, she's a goblin? Cause she about to be gobbling these ding, ding, dong, like King Kong. Seventh Prince. This is one of those shows that seems self-aware enough to play into its stupidly oh. overpowered protagonist. But I can't shake the feeling that if I leave this running too long in the background, this kid's gonna start telling me that gliding should be faster. We've got another kingdom building isekai. I'm not gonna lie. I saw the first episode of this. It reminded me of the civilization. Why got the Yu Hacker Show music playing in the background? It took me a second to like clock onto what that was. An aspect of slime and realist hero. And then I ended up reading every single available chapter in one night pretty good hey you remember that old isekai called gates now presenting the new gate <laughs> well actually this has nothing to do with gates and also it's not really new because this is based on the web novel that came out in 2013 um so now presenting the hottest new isekai of the season the all right all right that's enough isekai wake me up when we get a genre that hasn't already been done to death regression oh my god it's a regression anime hey bro have you seen this meme before oh no i don't usually go on the internet what what's going on the test is simple avert your gaze from the phone and you die what's on the phone pain <laughs> Kaiju number 8 wasn't enough for your Shonen Jump fix, there's Yozakura Family. This one looks like it's going to be more than Nishen, especially for jump standards. Best way I can describe this is we've got some spy family s shenanigans strange. about a poor kid unknowingly becoming a part of and trying to survive some Looney Tunes version of the Zoldic family. We've got Walmart Alphonse Elric, uh, Hyperloli, Siscon Sebastian. Oh, there's a lower accurate gacha gamer. Hey, Blue Archive, finally, a gacha game adaptation I'm not familiar with. <laughs> yet i'm gonna be real i recognize way too many of these characters for a franchise i know absolutely nothing, nothing about, about. Mm. when i covered this in my stream there seemed to be a lot of memes floating around that just went over my head i've been told that apparently cunny or something is a big meme in the community which i assume means these girls are cute and funny right Oh my god. Okay, so <laughs> what are you looking for in this character design? Oh, you know, just something standard for the industry. Understood. Now, nah, we're not trying to appeal to the blue archive fan base. Got it. Or the Genshin fan base. No problem. I don't know, it still doesn't look right. You know what? How about you just tell me what you're making here? A VTuber avatar. Perfect. Yore! Yeah, this looks alright, this one. Um, didn't she draw the, the, the thing and she's protecting it or something? Um... 
I've never exactly been quiet about my aversion towards anime centered around cute girls doing cute things, but there have been more than enough examples in recent years that have slowly turned my opinion around to truly get me excited when the right show comes about. And Jellyfish Can't Swim in the Nights looks to be joining that list. A group of misfits band together, an illustrator that gave up on her passion, a retired idol that wants to prove herself, a composer struggling with her own past, and finally, crackhead Anya who's trying to make her VTubing career work. This gave me a vibe I haven't felt since watching A Place Further Than The Universe. Not a single episode has failed to leave me without the biggest grin on my face. This isn't just another show where cute girls do cute things. This is cute girls do amazing things. Setting up what looks to be an awe-inspiring tale about shooting for your dreams. It's shows like these that get me excited that I'm watching an anime original. Not because I can guarantee no spoilers from dickhead manga or light novel readers, but you can tell this is a story that has been purely made for the medium of anime, and that feeling shines through the bloody fantastic visual direction on top of the opening episodes hitting every single emotional beat without fail. This was one of my standouts for spring and some of the best direction I found in the season so far. Damn, I wonder what else this guy has directed. Holy shit. The prodigal son has returned. <laughs> Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you very much this month too. Author Curtis Eckstein, Basel, Dysfunctional Degenerate, Flabberwocky, Jonathan, Mike 808, Masaka 12315, Payne Patchett, Pony Stark, Shouting Zombie, Waltergeist VT, and everyone else on my That's Patreon strange. for helping to support me for this month and making this video possible. As you can probably tell, my voice is a little bit different today. I'm a very busy boy in Australia right now and didn't have enough time to record an outro. <laughs> Also, my editor has decided to be very lazy and is just doing this instead of something more creative to end this video. As with every seasonal video, I'm now obligated to mention just how many shows there were this season and also that I think the season is good because I like anime. But seriously, this video is 20 minutes long and I didn't even talk about everything. Crikey mate. Anyway though, that's it from me <laughs> for today. Mate. I have been Gigook and I will see you all next time. Oh, they're always very really funny, and uh, some interesting anime out this season. I'll try and check out a few of them. Um, I'm mainly just enjoying Mishoka Tensei, that time's being kind of hit as a slime. At the oh, and Go Go Loser Ranger. And Kaiju number 8, I will get around to watching it on the Patreon, I promise. Uh, but uh, thank you to my patrons. If you want to have your name at the end of the video, I want to be able to watch patron-only reactions, such as the original Dragon Ball series. The link is in the description to the Patreon page. One dollar a month is all I ask to help support channel's group. Appreciate you for that. Thank you all. Watch it. You guys think of that? You guys think of this? Click like, subscribe if you haven't already. Leave comments down below. Let me know what I should watch, discuss in future videos. I'll see you guys, all you guys, next time.